Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, welcome back to my channel. I'm Josh Telegrange, and while certain fans were verbalizing the incident that occurred at Lingerie Fighting Championship when a head coach, Leon Hader, threw Tamako into a cage and then it threw down and once, or also threw. Jesse across the cage, it was going to go back and attack her again when she confronted him. Now, the company said supplementary discipline. What does that mean? Does that mean a slap on the wrist and you're told never to do that again? Well, here's the thing. It should have never happened. I don't care if anyone loses the slightest bit of their tempers. A man is not supposed to physically touch a woman. At all. Not even if they consent to it. Because abuse is not okay. And this man is a danger and a threat to the company. He's a danger and a threat to everybody who works in that company. And if you don't grow a pair of balls, and I, I mean this literally, if you don't stand up now, he's going to do it again and again and again. How many chances are going to give this guy? After one incident like this is enough to give them walking papers. It's enough to fire them. You have a right to fire them, President. You have a right to do so to protect not only the ladies, but everybody in attendance. Because if this man attacks a fan, if that's what happens next, he attacks a fan, then you allowed it. I ask you right now to immediately strip him of being a head coach. You immediately fire him and walk him out of the company, and he doesn't come back. I do believe in second chances, but the thing is, there are people like this that I've seen every single day. I've met a few just like that, whose true motives was to injure someone. And while I do not know the extent of the injuries that Tamako took, and I, I apologize for botching her name. I'm not used to that name. I'm really not. I love you guys so much. I care about every single person in that company. I care about the security guards who stood and didn't allow him to get on her again. Because if he would have got on her again and they were powerless to do something, I would have been like, what is going on? Why isn't the security guards who are supposed to do their job not doing their job? Were they told not to do their job? I don't know. I will not drop this topic until he's immediately fired. So every day, if I have to post another video, another video, another video, another video, until he's fired, that's what I'm going to do. Because I'm not going to sit idly by. And while the fans at the time were upset, and then just simply silently dropped it, like, no, that's not a big deal. Those were two women. It should have not happened. I don't understand how anyone can do that to a woman. Even though I'd known some like that, and I wanted to beat their ass so bad. But being, and everyone says, well, you know, being my height, you don't look like much. But honestly, what's it going to take? Not many are aware that I was abused myself by a girlfriend. Do I blame all women? Do I think all women are like this? No, I don't. But this, there's a reason why every gender who has went through this kind of abuse ends up not wanting to be with that person, with the, with the opposite gender. They turn out to go the other direction because they are afraid that, that that gender is going to continue to be like that. And I had to point out to a friend, yes, a really close friend, that not all of us men are like this. And while I was talking to her on on the internet, she told me she's hoping to find a guy just like me. So if I helped in some way, that's great. Some people are, even the, secu even the security guard that was there that night says I should be a superhero, that I should wear a cape, even though I don't wear a cape. I mean, I tell you, I love people. I love them. 
Even if they do something very vile to me, I still love them. Even though I do blame my ex for what she did. Because she is the reason why I am this way. I've always been a voice of reason. I've always been a voice of concern. And if people don't listen to my voice, there's something clearly wrong with them. There are people who can hide themselves very, very well until they slip up. And in this case, he slipped up big time. This is not excusable, what he did. Oh, he was protecting his his fighter. No, he wasn't. He didn't, he didn't care about his fighter. If he did, he wouldn't have stepped in. It's not his job. He's the head coach. Head coaches don't do that. They don't, they don't do that at all. While women will tussle around, rematch. That's what that could have been. But instead, oh no, I'm going to physically grab this lady and throw her against a cage. And then grab the other one who's confronting me and throw her against a cage. And then wants to go back and attack her because he was going to. That's what he was doing. Watch the video. The evidence is right there. Plain and simple. He did not care about anybody. If he did, he wouldn't have done what he did. He would have stayed away and not touched somebody. And like I said, a security guard and my job, if I was a referee, is to break up a fight. Even though the fight is not really a fight, it's just them rolling around on the ground. But in case they try to injure each other, we have to step in and pull them off each other. And if, if we have to stand in front of them while they're trying to punch... Which, by the way, they don't punch. But uh, if they did punch, oh, that's gonna suck. Cause those mixed martial arts gloves, yeah, they're not they're, they're they're not soft. I've been hit by them. They're not fun. <laughs> I used to have a pair, and my nephew hit me with it, and it's like, ouch. <laughs> or actually, he had those pair, and I had the fingerless glove ones, and I had the kind of like the boxing gloves almost, and yeah. When he hit me, that hurt. That wasn't fun. But I'm... Again, please fire this man. Do not let him come back. He should not come back at all. For the sake of not only the fighters, but somebody like me. Because imagine if I was sitting there, and he just decided to attack me for no apparent reason. When I had nothing to do with anything. That's not pleasant. That's not something that should ever happen. A fan shouldn't be attacked by a, by anybody. I mean, if a fan boos you, big deal. You get over it. Alright, guys. I am not dropping this topic. I will not stay silent about this. While some recommend I should, what? Why should I sit idly by and let something like this happen again? Because, like I said, a slap on the wrist and told, don't do it again... That's not good enough for me. That's not good enough for anybody in that company. Do not be afraid to stand up for yourself. I will proudly stand with all fighters. I will proudly stand with the company and have this guy removed permanently from the grounds. And then if he tries to get back in to a different company, a different fight company, his name should be spread around the fight world. The incident that happened should not have happened at all. I love you all so very much. You, you, you just don't get it. Some people may not get this. I love you very deeply. I think you guys are amazing. The stuff you do. I'm not just fighting for the female's honor. I'm fighting because that's a good reason. There's not many very good reasons to fight for anything anymore. Because people who fight, they're going to get hurt. But I'm the kind of guy that you'd want in your corner. You want, you need a guy like me who will stand for something and not, not stand for something. For no good man to do anything, evil prevails. Evil wins. And there are evil people. There's awful people all around the world who do the most awful awful and terrible things to good people and it's sad and there's nothing I can do about it except hopefully they change 
for the better. But, you know, there's people that will never change. And when a man gets the taste of abusing a woman, he does not stop. A woman who abuses a man will not stop until she's satisfied, and she'll never be satisfied. There are sociopathic people in this world who have no empathy for love. If I ask a woman, do you like to be spit on? The answer is no, they don't like to be spit on. If a guy does it, that's disrespectful as well. Some people are like, oh, you know, women like that. No, they don't. Or, oh, women like to be slapped. No, they don't. Not all of them. Unless you like the rough stuff. That, that's fine. What people do in the bedroom is their own business, because I don't care. I've had my friends gossip to me about their sex life, and I'm like, I don't really care. I had my guy friends, and I had my female friends, or lady friends. And I'm just like, I don't really care. I don't, I don't even want to know. I, I, you know, I've been in love multiple times, but I never treat a woman like that. Not once. That's what kind of person I am. I was taught not to touch a lady, even when a girl, and you know what the worst thing is? A female bully. When you're a kid and you're a boy, and she goes, you can't touch me because I'm a girl. I wish I could have. I wish I could have knocked her lights out for what she was doing. But you know what? I couldn't do nothing about it because I would get in trouble because, oh, if you, it's like this. You only fight to defend yourself. That's what you do in a situation. If if I was the only guy and I was walking down the street and some lady, for whatever reason, decided to violently attack me, and I've been attacked before, I couldn't do nothing about it. I was powerless to stand up for myself then. I'm not powerless now, and I'm never going to be powerless now, because I have a voice. And my voice is saying, please, fire this man. Fire him. You know, it just takes one incident, and that can change the whole perspective of your life. I don't understand certain things about certain things that I've seen, and that's why I ask questions like, why do it? What do you get out of it? Maybe you don't care that you're hurting somebody. And even though they consented to it, it's still not right. Because <laughs> what human being, if I want to wrestle someone, I'm going to wrestle someone. Let's see what we let's see what we got, what each other of us have. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to manhandle you. I can't even, I can't do nothing really right now. I'm sorry this is a very long video, but it's very imperative to speak out against this kind of stuff. People like that will never change. And regardless, if they seem innocent and kind, they never change. I will, again, stand up and say, fire him. Fire him until he's gone. He's probably watching my videos every time I upload one. He probably thinks, oh, look at that guy. He's running his mouth. He thinks he can take me on. Let me tell you something. A real man would not sit idly by, and I'm a real man, so I'm not going to sit idly by. And if that makes me a jerk, if that makes me an asshole, then I'm sorry. No, not really sorry, because... I'm willing to stand up for something that is right. I got to go, guys. I made this video long enough, so hit that like button. Smash it right down below in my comment section. I want it blown up. Explosions. I love you guys. I love my fans. I love my subscribers the most. I love my subscribers. I love my followers. I love everyone who's following me on Twitter, even though I have more. I'm following more people. And I'm getting followed less, which that's fine. I know you guys are busy, but I love you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Hit that thumbs up. And please stand up now and say no more. Because we are not voiceless. We should not sit silently by and let someone like that in our lives. We need to stand up now and defeat this evil that makes people evil. I pray every day that someone else doesn't go through what I went through. I pray every single day, but yet I read it more and more, and it's pretty sad. 
It's sad that this happens. So please, stand up. Do not be afraid to speak out. I love you guys. I will talk to you all later. See you in the next video.